Hello there and welcome. My name is Jimmy Wiegmann and in today's video we're going to talk about the new integration between your service management and status page. And this one is pretty awesome. So let's jump into the article and let's show you what they are talking about. So here we are now in uh, the Atlassian community where they have announced this. And this is from Eugene, uh, who is presenting something that I think is really awesome. So what are they doing then? Well, they have created a new geoservice management cloud integration to status page. And if you are using status page today, then you probably have it connected to, to Ops Genie. So you can actually push incident from Ops Genie to a status page. So what this one does, it is will allow you uh, to do a similar thing, but you will have a more uh, solid connection between your service management and status page directly. And uh, so what is this then? Uh, this integration has to do with your service management incident workflow. So you need to have the incident workflow probably activated for it. And also, uh, it is different than from how you previously uh, allowed you to show status page incidents on the service management help center portal. So if you had that integration to the portal, you can then fetch information and it will show a status message. And this one is now different. So the way we activate this one is then you need to go to apps in status page and you need to then add your service management if you haven't done that already. And the next step then is once you have connected to your service management, then you can choose to enable status page on all your year service management projects by selecting portal. And you can add projects of your choice by selecting issue. So this is then where you actually will uh, connect to uh, your service management and you have the portal there and you have the issue there. I don't know why I clicked on it, but I know you saw it in larger places. So under the issue, then you can connect to projects. And you can select the individual products here and you can then uh, connect single incident products if, or sorry, single year service management products if you want. Now, once you have that set up, if you create a status page incident, uh, so in your service management, if you get an incident like this one, and then you will see that you will have down here, you will have something called, let me just click on it so you should see it larger. So down here, you will have something called status page, link status page that you can click on and push it then to, uh, to, to a status page. And it will also say that if you have multiple status pages, it will also ask which of the status pages do you want to push it through. And then when you have selected it, then you can now then uh, display the open incident of that page. So you can connect, connect open incident or you can click create an incident if you want to click and create a new one. So if you have it already from Opsini, then you can just connect to that uh, incident that has already been created. Or if you don't have it automatically created through Opsini, then you can create it then directly or manually here and push it out to the status page. And once you have done that, you will see this little notification here that will actually say that it has been updated. And you will also say that you have identified here on the site of the status page. Another thing that used to be only for, uh, for Opsini is that you can now notify status page stakeholders uh, when you are working on an active incident from your service management. So, you will see the status page again down here and you can link the status page. And what you will see then is this, uh, it's a new screen basically, or where you will actually be able to send communication. So let me open that one so you see it a little bit bigger. So you can see, so this is when you click on the status page, you will go here and you can now have, uh, you can change the incident name, you can select, uh, what is happening. So these are the steps then, the statuses that you have in the status page. And you can have the information, you can connect the uh, components here. So once it has been completed, you will, you will then send this information to the relevant stakeholders. And they also have status page to Microsoft Teams integration. Uh, so now you can even have uh, this integration updated as well. 
So if you go then to Microsoft Teams, go to Manage Portal and select Subscribers in the left menu, and then you will have Settings, select Microsoft Teams and Save Changes. So this one will then add this new icon here, or it will update this icon here, and then you can then subscribe to updates uh, for the, from the status portal, uh, and those will go directly into uh, Teams. And I'm guessing uh, this is all for Teams, but you can also see we have Slack here as well, and that one hasn't been updated by the looks of it. It's just the Microsoft Teams that has been updated. So this is information on how you connect it then and what kind of information you want to have. So uh, I'm not going to go through all of this. You can, if you are interested in, in having this one for Teams, then you can read through this one and how you create the connectors here. But that's it. And I think this, um, this integration is taking then status page uh, a step closer to where we actually work, which I think is good. I also think that uh, the integrations now, both with Opsini and with status page is getting more and more integrated with your service management, which I think is very, very, very good. And uh, so I, I really like this one and I will absolutely implement this as quickly as possible. And uh, so we can test this one out and see how this one works. But what do you say? Do you think this one is unnecessary because we already have a similar connection between Opsini and status page? Or do you think it is important, uh, even if you're not using Opsini very much, that you can push uh, things that are important but might not be a major incident, for example, that also push these things out to status page? Sign off in the comments so I hear you and uh, I can understand where you are coming from. For me, I think this is very good because sometimes you have things that are, it's causing a lot of problems, but it's not the P1 or P2. It's, it's more like we have an ongoing problem that is causing annoyance, but it won't prevent you from using the tools or something like that. But you don't need to report it to us because we are already aware of it. These things would be good to push them to a status page, especially if the status page is internal, meaning that it's only for internal use. And I also think it's for anyone who is not very comfortable or don't like the UI of Opsini, that is a little bit different, uh, but they want to use status page, but they want to manually push whatever they are doing there. This is a really, really good change. So that was it for this article. Uh, as soon as I have this one set up and been able to test it for a while, I'll see if I can make a video for it. Uh, it's a little bit difficult since I'm using only the free versions and, and much of the functionality requires uh, higher tiers uh, to actually be able to work. But I think the only thing that remains for me to say about this video is I like it, it's awesome, and I hope I see more of this. And then I hope that you will have an awesome day and that you will have a great week.